Hey there, it's Shauna. I hope you're doing good. This video is all about the full moon in Scorpio that's happening on Thursday, April 21st, 2016. So this full moon is all about healing our relationship with our shadow, with our unconscious mind and unconscious behaviors, and it's about healing our relationship and getting more comfortable with the cycle of manifestation and detox with the birth and death cycle and how that relates to our lives now. So I'm going to share with you the energy of this moon and why that is the theme and how to really use this energy, what to watch out for so that you can have an awesome month. So this moon is in the sign of Scorpio and so Scorpio is all about the subconscious mind, our shadow, what it is that we do that we're not immediately aware of. And Scorpio allows us to become more familiar with this energy. It allows us to see our shadow. And Scorpio is also very much related to the manifestation and the detox cycle. So when you start something, when you um, want to bring something into your life, there's something that you're saying no to. There's something that you're detoxing from your life. So there's um, this birth and death cycle always. So um, this is further amplified by this moon activating the asteroid um, of Ceres, the goddess Ceres. And so Ceres is the earth goddess. It is the divine mother earth goddess. And it's very much about this, um, this cycle, this rhythm that nature is connected to. We have spring and then summer and then fall and then winter. And um, it's never that loss is entirely permanent. There's losses necessary in order for us to um, shed and let go and then to bring in something new and let that grow and then that will mature and then some parts of that need to fall away and etc. and on and on. So um, Scorpio and the Goddess series, these energies, um, they blend really well together. So th this is what I want you to think about with this full moon in particular is um, behavior patterns that you have that are challenging for you and I want you to think about exploring those and um, you can listen to my guided meditation we will go into that um, especially to really dig in there to help you to um, heal anything and release anything that may be stuck um, but this is really a time for exploring what it is that, that feels like a little bit stuck for you that feels like um, a pattern that you've been trying to let go of for a long time, this full moon is going to allow you to do that. It's going to full moon illuminate everything is big and bright. It's going to illuminate your subconscious mind. It's going to illuminate your psyche, uh, which is really cool. So um, what to watch out for is I want you to watch out for ways where you may be trying to numb yourself out to this stuff because um, we don't always want to experience our subconscious mind because sometimes it um, it can be painful or it can just be like uncomfortable. So um, I want you to take really good care of yourself. Make sure that you're getting enough rest and really good yummy foods and just that you're doing stuff that makes you feel good. Um, not good in that it numbs you to where you don't have to feel like um, anything excessive, but good where it feels like nurturing and comforting. That's the vibe that I want you to go for um, around this full moon. So um, as always, I'm doing my full moon guided meditation, the full moon meditation circle, and that's going to be on Thursday. April 21st at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can come and join us in Encinitas, but I also live stream it. So you can listen live and we talk about the moon and what's going on that day and what everyone's feeling. And then I do a guided meditation specifically for that moon energy right on the full moon. And so it's really powerful. It helps everyone to connect and um, to harness the energies in a really beautiful way. It's really fun. Um, also, if you want to harness the moon cycles even more this whole year, you can get my 2016 moon journal. I'll have the link below for you to order that. And if you want a reading with me, let me know and we'll get it set up. <laughs> so wishing you a wonderful full moon and sending you lots of love. I hope you have an awesome month. Namaste. Mwah. <laughs>